Okay, so I got the question, how do I switch from being in thoughts to the to switching to the thoughtlessness? Well, it depends, it depends on where you are in your journey. Um, if you're in a what I call a, a lower vibration, fear, shame, and guilt, most of the time, it may be a, a very advanced level to be working. You can you can also work on it, but it is the most advanced level, is um, and usually it's easier to do once you've cleared out some of the uglier emotions and belief systems around fear, anger, and unforgiveness of people, which you can clear out through prayer um, and uh, allowing feelings. I have many videos on those on YouTube. If you type in, feel the feelings into my YouTube channel, channel you get lots of direction on how to allow feelings. And, um, uh, you know, if you uh, <clears throat> uh, cancelling beliefs, you can cancel all your angers and fears and unforgivenesses uh, you're an infinite being or you know god is a love in which i forgive for those gross ones but generally um uh if if you haven't done a lot of the heavier work then um it it sometimes seems harder to go into the thoughtless because you've got such heavy emotions or and so many belief systems still trudging but let's say you can go straight for the thoughtless realm uh, even if you've got all that heavy junk there, but it, it, people say it's generally harder if you've got a lot of heavy baggage to get to that timeless stillness. But um, so that if you go into my YouTube channel and click on the observer videos, that's the practice to do I, uh, that I recommend. Anyway, there's other practices you can do. All practices lead there. Um, but to let go of the payoff of being in your head all the time to just allowing that infinite presence to be here uh, and letting go of the secret payoff, you know, the addiction actually to thinking, uh, which is actually a block at the ultimate level is a block to the, that infinite timeless presence that's always here. Uh, and so you can see it's really uh, an addiction to just being in limited thoughts. Even if you're practicing grateful thoughts or loving thoughts, it's still thoughts. So, um, okay, so, how, so the observer. So the observer practice is, um, in a nutshell, it's like, what am I? Um, so if you see a table in your room and you're observing the table, are you the table? No, you're not the table. That's an object. It's very clear that's an object. You are more infinite and expansive than the table. You're not limited to being a table in the room. What about the body? Is there an observation of the body? Well, if you keep, you can watch some of my observer videos, you'll realize at a certain point that it's an enlightening thing, a revelation. There's a witnesser of the body, which is not the body. There's a detached witnessing of body. That's a, that's a miracle when you first realize that. Then you realize the body is not you. You are that, that is beyond the body. You are actually, you, the truth of what you are is bodyless. Then you, you think you're your thoughts because you, you have put so much meaning and you're so addicted to them that they, they seem to be you. And there's no detachment from them. But practice being the witness. Is there a witnesser of thoughts? Is there a detached witness of thoughts? Keep practicing. Watch. You can watch my videos on the Observer tool in my YouTube channel. And then one day, like a miracle, you'll realize there's a witnesser, an observer of thoughts. You're not the thoughts. Thoughts are like clouds that pass by. The body isn't just a table. It's not you. Uh, aha. So you're not thoughts. You're not the body. And once you realize the, the miracle, once you get direct spiritual awakening, that there's an infinite presence here, which is not the thoughts, then um, the, the pathway becomes easy to being in the infinite timeless presence. Now all that's required is willingness and commitment. Now that you've glimpsed that willing, that timeless thing, how badly do you want it? Because you then have to go through spiritual purification. Every time a thought comes up, you have to practice being the witnesser and letting it go. Uh, or, or you can use other practices, cancel the thought because you're ad addicted to that thought, whatever it is. Pray for a miracle. So, um, and then um, the main thing, if you want to be in the, in the, because it's the most, it's enlightenment, is that the highest level is what Buddha talked about, total freedom. Um, to get that level of freedom, you must be total commitment to let go of all things that are left within the ego that are still um, that still have payoff. Uh, you want to be in shame about that. Or you want to have fear. You want to indulge in that thought that you still think is important. 
also people that you've made important, family, whatever, you like indulging in that and, and whatever. So that's going to block the infinite presence. All of them eventually have to be put on the chopping block. And then your, your ego will argue, no, keep keep these thoughts. These thoughts you need to keep on to. Uh, you won't be able to survive without thinking. People will think you're stupid if you don't think. You'll disappear if you don't. All these thoughts come up. That's that's normal. You know, your ego will fight for fight for its individuality. It doesn't want to disappear into infinite presence forever. But uh, infinite presence is far better, you realize, because ego is not very... Uh, it seems fun in the wild, being in the drama in the head, but eventually it's not that nice. Uh, so uh, a little bit of anger might seem like fun, but, you know, too much anger, it's not that, it's not that much fun. So eventually the ego shows itself not to be a great, uh, a great master. So that's how you go to the thoughtless. I'll stop, press the stop button on that.